Uh, alrighty guys, sorry for the noise. Um, it's pretty busy street right next to me. I'm outside my doctor's office. Um, what today's visit is about really is about um, some blood work and some urinalysis that I had done a while back um, because I keep having infections and everything. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, my name is Billy Joe. In case you're new, I have um, me and my uh, fur baby camo and fur baby pearl. I'm sorry. I had a, a the light was kind of in my glasses there. Sorry about that. Um, uh, so perhaps let me see. I'm still kind of figuring out lighting and and stuff like that, guys. So I apologize. I apologize, guys. Yeah, it's still kind of. I don't know. I'm losing quite a bit of light. <laughs> if I don't do that. So, I'm trying to just, you know, keep my glasses off unless I'm reading, you know. Um, I think that's probably wise. Let me see. I can maybe put this. Pearl, no ma'am. No, no ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am. I'm trying, okay, I'm just going to have to see if I can't just like, you know, use my glasses at a minimum. <laughs> I didn't even need glasses till I hit 40, you guys. Actually, till I hit pretty much the, the first of like uh, 41, you know. So, um, I went to the doctors the other day and basically what I went for is um, I had had some blood work done for my primary and I had a urine test done. Um, and... Uh, I won't go into all of it like right now because I could just I could keep you here forever and honestly I just I kind of wanted to um, let you know the outcome uh, I went to my primary like I said um, and basically the blood work showed that I have uh, a really high amount of white blood cell uh, counts in my body and for me had just uh, I just finished up with a, a two-week regimen of antibiotics and um, you know, like a 10 day, um, or so, uh, of prednisone steroids. And so, you know, I have had like the wicked, um, sorry if I bounce around, I have uh, a lot of short term memory loss from epilepsy and MS. So I'm sorry guys. Um, and I'm still only a few months into like my, um, my YouTube channel. So I'm hoping and pray that I'm getting a lot better. So, but I'm sorry, I will probably bounce around. I apologize so much. But okay, so yeah, I went for the blood work and um, basically uh, my blood sugar looked good, which is, um, that had been really elevated like the last um, quite some time, years actually. So, um, so that is actually normal. My, uh, my um, blood pressure was pretty good. My heart rate was a little elevated as normal, you know, my, uh, my, um, before I really start feeling any kind of, um, you know, chest discomfort and stuff other than like shortness of breath, uh, I can go from anywhere from a hundred to 120, 130, 100, you know, so on, um, before I really kind of start feeling, like I said, the chest discomfort and the neck, uh, like my veins hurt in my neck and I get a headache and so on. Um, so basically, I want to go ahead and share with you guys, other than the white blood cell count, I just want to kind of give you um, a quick uh, overview of the other stuff that we went over. Of course, I'm going to have to have further blood work done, um, which I'm going to have done soon. And then I have to have one done again in six months, right before I see my, my, um, my doctor again in six months. Of course, if there's something else that comes up, that she's worried about, you know, she's she's going to have the nurse call me. And then we can always schedule an earlier appointment or, you know, whatnot. Telephone, um, you know, um, appointment or, or something like that. So, um, I've been having a lot of issues with my doctor pretty much since I moved back here from Maine. Um, I don't want to really go into detail about from Florida to Maine and then back, but... I lived in Florida, went back to Maine for five years, and then came back to Florida. So, um, um, I really started getting a hold of things in Maine. That was about five years ago. 
and uh, I was doing great with doctors and and, and um, specialists and everything. Uh, I think they were uh, fair with the testing that they did, fair with the um, medications that they um, presented, and everything. And then I kind of, I kind of um, really got down on myself because it's like when I go to a doctor and they're like, you know, I'm sorry, I say like, <laughs> or, um, or, uh, my bad. uh, so, you know, I really kind of get down because it's like when I go to a new doctor or a new specialist or whatever, um, and I have to switch them so often because the fact, um, that it's, it's, they always look at me and say, well, you're too young to be having all those problems. That right there is like the one thing if the doctor tells me I'm too young to be dealing with all this and my family history is a lot of cancer. Um, my sister got Crohn's disease, colitis when she was 16 years old. I've got a lot of GI. I have MS. My oldest sister um, has uh, lupus. And so us girls really got it. <laughs> we got our butts kicked. Um, thank God the boys, um, you know, they, they really don't have uh, anything to shake a stick at. <laughs> so, but they also, they also keep, uh, you know, doctors keep a good eye on them. Uh, so I got my MS diagnosis in 2021. Uh, the, um, yeah, the end of 2021. Um, and so that's really new to me. And, and, uh, um, so yeah, like I was going to say, <laughs> or I was starting to say, I am, uh, finding new doctors, uh, for some of them. I'm keeping my primary, um, um, it's, a uh, anyway, so I'm keeping my primary, <laughs> and, um, so this is, uh, some, some, um, uh, doctors, uh, and things that I, I, um, started making appointments with that I need referrals of, so on and so forth, um, so I did have an appointment set for, um, a mammogram uh, because you know over the, the last six seven eight years or so I have had a little lump in my breast that's changed oh pearly no ma'am she's getting after my uh, my Sony back there um, but yeah so I'm gonna go and I've got to I had it for June 2nd which is in a couple days I gotta change that because I have um, um, excuse me, uh, transportation, um, things I have to call my insurance company and just set up rides and so on and so forth. Uh, so I like to get, um, you know, all my appointments lined up and then call them at once because uh, if, I, if I call them individually, I would be on the phone with them every day for months, for days, you know. So, okay. So, uh, yeah, my diagnostic for my mammogram, um, like I said, is, is, um, I have to re reschedule that from the second to, uh, probably a week or so. Sorry, you know, if I look at you, uh, there. Is that better, guys? Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. I hate you so. Seriously. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'll try to keep my eyes at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, there we go. Like I'm reading a book or something, right? Eh? Oh, right. So. I'm going to reschedule that. Um, I, let's see, the, the uh, surgeon, sorry, the surgeon that I had um, seen, I had emergency surgery um, back on November 1st, early November 2nd, um, due to um, a bad uh, injury to my face. I do have uh, videos um, prior, you know, a, a little while back that shows you very graphic images um, in the just of like what had happened, um, I can't really like go into like all kind of details about it and stuff because it, you know, it's, it's kind of ongoing and it's, it's okay. So, you know, I, I basically kind of said what I could say for, for the time being. Um, so the surgeon that I had seen that did my surgery, I went and, you know, followed up with him and so on and so forth. Um, he's, uh, referring me because my nose, uh, you know, was broken, uh, right in here. Well, I, you know, 
Uh, so yeah, right in here, and then I have like numbness, um, you know, down in here in my face, and I I feel like there's maybe fragments of um, like maybe chip bone or, or, or something right under here. Um, so I saw the surgeon, um, and he re he's referring me to a um, ear, nose, and throat uh, specialist or uh, a surgeon for ear, nose, and throat. Um, that way he can kind of, because I'm having a hard time, you know, uh, kind of breathing out of that side and get stopped up. And so if you can imagine, it just kind of causes issues with me. When I'm trying to go to sleep, you know, Jesus, you guys. But uh, yeah, so don't mind me if I'm silly from here, <laughs> from here to Boston, okay? Okay. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna. I spoke with him about that months ago, actually. So I got a call today and kind of, you know, get on the butt. Um, you know, I'm not sure how your doctors are. I'm just letting you know how like my my flow is going with my situation but um if you don't feel like you know uh something's going that it, it you know or something hasn't been done that is supposed to be done like a referral or something make sure you just keep up with that yourself you know what I mean I have to I literally have a book I have to um write things down like I'll have a page per doctor um and then i'll flip the page and then i'll have a different one and i'll have i'll make sure that i get their appointments you know right then and there and then i can i can just kind of pin it for that uh for that day or you know however um or what i did and um so yeah so i gotta call my uh facial surgeon back and just uh find out what's going on with the referral for that uh, my primary, uh, I need to call them and ask them uh, what referrals have they been able to uh, reach and then what um, referrals do I have to call my insurance company and kind of find. Um, so that's one thing I need to do. I need to go, it's, ladies, it's everybody's favorite test, you know what I mean, the old pap. The old paps, you know. Okay, so I got to have that. Um, you know, I've had some abnormalities um, you know, in, in, in my areas as well. Um, it's, I've had reoccurring, um, infections, like I said. Um, I have, you know, a lot of pain, distension, uh, cramping, um, like a lot of, uh, pain in my, like, rectal area. I've been having really bad, uh, kind of like, um, my uh, body isn't digesting things um, as quickly as it should, so I'm getting diarrhea, or not diarrhea, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, if you don't like the, the poop talk, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm trying to be as honest with you guys, you know, as, as to what's going on with me as possible. I just, I want to be able to help people. And this is already going on 13 minutes, so I gotta have my, um, my old women's checkup. Um, my doctor is referring me to an oncologist uh, due to the uh, amount of polyps in my, uh, which are little tumors. Generally, they're not cancerous, but I do have a lot throughout my body, my thyroid, um, and other places. So I really need to um, see an oncologist. You know, not just about the about the lump, um, throat, um, and a GI doctor. So I mean. I really need these doctors to be in cahoots with one another. You know what I'm saying? We all got to be on the same page here. So, yeah, I'm really needing to, like, buckle down and try to get everybody on the same page. Medical records fixed, you know, because I've really been slacking. I really have, you guys. I'm sure you can tell, um, you know, with the uh, my videos and everything, and I just feel horrible. I really do because I... I need to expect a lot more from myself than what I've been doing. And that's that's kind of in another video. Um, my cardiologist, I do need to find a new cardiologist because the last one I had was like, um, yeah, take a new medic, take a medication on top of the um, blood pressure medicine you're already taking and then see me in a year. So, no, that's, that's not okay for me. That's not okay for me. So I need to find a new cardiologist. 
uh, neurologists. I'm going to call them and find out because I know they already had like the, the ball rolling on a lot of really uh, uh, important stuff that I need to do. Uh, the last appointment wasn't that kosher because it's just, yeah, I can go into that in another video too. So yeah, I'm, um, uh, GI, also I have um, uh, asthma and COPD, which I've gained over the years because of smoking cigarettes. Please do not smoke cigarettes. I know you hear that everywhere, see that everywhere, but I'm telling you right now, my teeth are ruined, uh, no, not just because of the injury to my face. I have a lot of front teeth damage, but smoking seriously will kill you. And it's harder than heck to stop. So, but yeah, I'm going to get with a GI doctor as well, which is gastro, a gast, gastrointestinal. <laughs> so that deals with your, you know, your digestive tract, as you can imagine. A pulmonologist who deal with my um, my asthma and my COPD see how that's advancing uh, the inhalers that I've got with steroids and it's just not really it's it's yeah I need to get that fixed working on but anyway so like I said I need to get the ball rolling on all these referrals um, speak to these um, doctors um, you know um, and just get everybody in the, in the same thing and make sure I get everybody's referrals to what appointments I need and everything is going to be a crazy mess. But you guys, it's been um, going on 17 minutes. I don't want to keep this video any longer, but that's kind of the gist of it. And as I know more, I will definitely update you guys. And me, Camel, and Pearly love you guys and adore you so, so much. We really do, guys. So I'll see you soon.